Hi, uh, this is Mark, the Incognito Astronomer. Um, I'm coming at you from my chilly backyard here uh, this December 4th of 2022. Um, I thought I would try a new uh, type of video. Um, I'm going to focus on shorter um, videos that just show one object. I'm going to talk a little bit about it and uh, while I'm capturing it and try to end up the videos at around five minutes just to show you as the viewers what's possible with electronically assisted astronomy um, on a target uh, with a very limited time window. Many astrophotographers spend hours if not days um, gathering data through um, their cameras and then post-processing that data to come up with some I mean markedly amazing pictures but if you don't have that kind of time, this is what you could reasonably expect to get, um, even with as low as five minutes worth of total integration time using this uh, SharpCat program that I'm using. So what we're gonna start out with here is I'm gonna flip to LiveStack. I'm going to clear what we were at before. Um, and the histogram is reset and the color balancing is reset. Now, since I pay for the SharpCat Pro, I do have a bit of a cheat here. I can just hit this button for auto color balancing to align all of those peaks, giving a nice color neutral uh, image. And I'm going to move the sliders over to tease out some details. Now, that's 35 seconds worth of exposures right there. Just seven frames at four 0.9 seconds a frame um, and a gain of 514 using the camera uh, that I'm using, which is a Uranus C camera from Player One Astronomy. So, about M31. M31 is the closest galaxy, uh, major galaxy, to our own Milky Way. Um, the Milky Way and Andromeda are roughly equivalent in size uh, as far as how many suns or how much mass they have. Um, they're also, the Andromeda is a little bit larger physically than the Milky Way. Um, they are both spiral type galaxies. Uh, the Milky Way is considered to be a spiral as far as we can tell because we're inside of it. It's really hard to see exactly, but our best guess. Um, Andromeda, you can see um, in a lot of pictures. If you looked up M31 uh, in Google or Wikipedia, you would have some beautiful pictures showing the spiral uh, nature of this galaxy. Now my telescope is a bit zoomed in on this target. Andromeda actually takes up, uh, from the, from what I can recall off the top of my head, it's well over a degree, I think it's a degree and a half to two degrees of sky. Um, it's as big or bigger than three full moons width uh, as far as the area that it covers. Uh, we can't see most of that with our naked eye simply because uh, it's too dim for us to pick up. But with a camera, you can really see that extended area. So we're at about two minutes in, and I've left the histogram sliders where they're at. Now, if you notice these dark areas here and here, these are parts of the spiral arms of Andromeda. And again, this whole area that looks like it's slightly lit up this is just this haze is caused from unresolved stars that you just can't see individually because they're so far away but there's billions of stars in this frame um, that are shining their light down to us here now i'm going to let this go for another couple of minutes and then i'll come back and give you a quick wrap up as far as uh, what we've got it's probably not going to change a whole lot from here, but um, just to keep the video short, um, I'm going to pause it here and then pop back in at five minutes exposure and just wrap it up. Okay, we're back. We're at uh, four minutes and 53 seconds of total exposure. I'm going to move these sliders over here a little bit. Now, the way these sliders work, the closer you are to the peak, the darker the background is going to be. Uh, this is the black level. And if you take the mid-level and move it towards the black level, you're going to basically draw out details. Pull up those mids, and here we are. So, it doesn't look a whole lot different than it did just a couple of minutes ago. But that's okay. 
Um, some targets will look a lot different, um, even with uh, shortish exposures. This one, however, not so much, although you can tell in here. So before, we could just see these base lanes. Now you can start to see maybe this curve here. There's a little curve here that's cut off. Like I said, much of this galaxy is going to extend far outside of the frame. Um, but it does make this oval shape, which is the spiral. Everything spinning around the central nucleus of the galaxy. So with that, we're going to wrap this up. Again, this is just a short uh, five minutes, an hour, six minutes worth of exposures on Andromeda. Just to see what you could get uh, from your own backyard. Uh, the moon is about three quarter full, so it's definitely not ideal conditions to be looking at galaxies, but this one's bright enough that we can kind of get away with it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all the people that have uh, watched my videos and commented. Um, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it. Um, and hopefully you guys all have clear skies and enjoy your universe. Bye-bye.